Hi, Janet. Thank you so much for, for joining us today. I'm really looking forward to discuss about diversity and the place of women uh, in the mining sector with you. Oh, thank you very much. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely honored to be here. It's an absolute pleasure and thank you very much for the invitation. So, Janet, tell us a little bit more about yourself, about your experience in the mining sector and some uh, key success factors uh, throughout your career. Uh, I came into the mining sector in a bit of a different manner than, than many people with a technical background, engineering or, or geology. And I came in from the social licensing perspective where I worked with First Nations in the Yukon for over 20 years. And that was the bridge that allowed me to come into the mining industry. And a, a lot of that was governed by uh, the elders who were looking for somebody that was respectful of their culture and uh, able really to be a bit of a gap filler until their own uh, grandchildren were educated and capable of taking up positions like this in the sector. Um, I think one of my successes has been um, a lot of work that I've done with Aboriginal training. I raised about $20 million for Aboriginal training in the Yukon and really it led me into the position that I find myself now. I've been the CEO of Golden Predator for five or six years. I lose track. Uh, before that, I was a vice president of communications and First Nation relations. And I'm now also the president of the Yukon Mint and Group 11 Technologies. That's quite an impressive career, Janet. Thank you. Um, I'm wondering, some, what are some of the challenges that you're seeing um, that women in the mining industry face? And how does your organization help women to achieve fulfilling uh, and rich careers? I have to say that I'm a little embarrassed that I completely underestimated the impact um, of being a female CEO on the people I work with, on the communities I work with, and on the organization. I, I think women bring a, a different um, lens to, uh, to the industry and, and, it, and it's more holistic. Um, and uh, so I think it's important that we balance having men and women uh, succeed in senior management and, and it makes the industry better. At one point in, in our uh, corporate life, I had over 50% female geologists. I had over 50% of the on-site crew female. Um, over 50% of my office staff was female. And when we did an elders and residents program, 100% of the elders that initially participated were female. And I did not fully embrace the fact that that was happening because I was a woman. And I was enabling people to feel more comfortable in the industry. And I, I didn't have that opportunity of working for women in the industry, so I didn't expect it. Are you excited about the future and, and the role of women in the mining sector? I'm extremely excited about the future, um, mine and for many other women. I, I think that the more we see women coming into senior management positions, um, I think there's going to be a greater comfort in testing out new ideas, uh, innovative ideas, solutions in the sector, ways of working. And I just think it's the mining industry is an incredible sector. It does more to create local wealth, um, jobs, contracts, sustainable communities, rural employment, and the potential for women to help shape this, I think is, is unlimited. And I truly see this as a sector that has great future for women. And can you tell us a little bit more about the people in your life who have uh, influenced you to become such a risk taker and adventurer? Uh, I was very, very fortunate to have an amazing grandmother that I considered my best friend. I was raised by a single mom, uh, but I was also jointly raised by my grandmother. And my grandmother was a, a true pioneer uh, for somebody that never, uh, she didn't marry till she was in her 30s. She dedicated the rest of her life to her family, never had a driver's license, never learned to swim, but she believed in me and believed I had to go places. And when I talked about taking an alternate path after university and going north, um, she bought me a one-way ticket and, and asked me not to come back. She believed in being a pioneer and she believed that there was something better for me if I was willing to take this risk. Um, and when you look back, what would you tell your 20-year-old self? 
Oh, that's a very good question. Um, what would I tell my 20 year old self? Take the road less traveled, take a risk. It's all going to be OK. It's not going to be easy, but it's so going to be worth it. Well, thank you so much, Janet, for uh, for chatting with us today. You mentioned you want history to to remember you, and I can tell you we will remember you as a very uh, strong leader, very inspirational with uh, with well anchored values um, and thought and, and awareness about diversity. Um, and we thank you so much for your time and for for your comments and insights. Well, thank you very much for um, allowing me to jo join you today. I think we work in the most incredible sector of the economy and I'm honored to be a small part of it. And I look forward to looking back many years from now and seeing what the many women that follow me have achieved.